today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite ways to mount and film with the new Insta360 X3 to help you capture your next epic motorcycle ride. This is the Insta360 X3. It's extremely versatile, nice and compact with a battery life of up to 80 minutes, which is more than enough for a single ride. And since September last year, it has been my main camera for capturing motorcycle content. When mounting the X3 up to your handlebars, you want to make sure that you have a nice flat spot on your bars with no bends and make sure that the clamp is done up as tight as possible. This is a great position for sports bike riders. It captures the intensity of the helmet while you're ripping through some bends. It's also a great safe position if you don't want to carry too much gear, but you want to capture your ride. Now the motorcycle accessory bundle kit comes with the 70 centimeter selfie stick. This is lighter and shorter and it minimizes wobble. I found for best results, just lower the last extension. This angle is a great way to capture the world behind you. Capture drone-like footage with Insta360's super smooth flow state stability. It's also a great way to reveal the terrain that you're riding in. Start off with the front cam, then whip it to the rear to reveal your location. So find yourself a nice mounting position. Depending on which bike you have, you might have some bars at the rear that you can clamp onto, which will work perfectly. If you have any pillion bars that you can mount on, use those. Sports bike riders, you might want to use the adhesive mount that's included in the Moto Bundle Kit. Use my affiliate link in the description below to purchase your X3 and you receive the Moto Bundle Kit for free. For best results using the 70 centimeter selfie stick, just retract the last extension. Just take note that you won't be able to see your camera. So make sure you do it up nice and tight and make sure it's secure. This angle is particularly popular with sports bike riders capturing the lean angle while ripping around some corners. You can spin to the rear view, show who's behind you like you're watching the MotoGP. Mount the camera as low as you can, making sure that the camera won't scrape on the road while you're leaning around corners. Face one lens directly at the wheel to avoid the stitch line, but not too close that it warps the footage. With the camera mounted down nice and low, this conveys speed. This angle also shows the road conditions and it shows your suspension working and it also gives you a great sense of lean angle. For this shot, you will need the Insta360 back bar. Strap it up all nice and securely. And for this, you'll need the 120 centimeter selfie stick so that you can extend it all the way up. Just be mindful of low hanging branches or power lines or any obstacles that you might hit. This gives you an awesome old school GTA top down view where you can lean the selfie stick back to give yourself an awesome third person view like new school GTA 5. It's a great way to show your surroundings and you have multiple angles to work with. Use the mounts provided in the Insta360 Motorcycle Accessory Bundle Kit and lock it into place. This position is great to use as a 360 degree dash cam and pair this with loop recording to save SD card space. It's also a great central point of view capturing all the action in a central position. For this angle, I use Insta360's chin mount and I mount the X3 upside down. Set it to single lens mode, FOV plus, and it gives you a field of view of more than 170 degrees. This is a great riding point of view as it gives the viewer the feeling that they're the ones actually riding. If you like to motor vlog, you can use Insta360's mic adapter, plug in your external microphone and have a chat. Now the best part about capturing all that 360 degree footage is that you can go into the mobile phone app or your studio desktop app and reframe everything that you just captured. Some edits can make your video give the effect of switching between first person and third person perspectives. So from each of those angles I just showed you, you can reframe multiple times so you won't be short of interesting content. Depending on which platform you'd like to post, you can change the aspect ratio to suit. For example, I like to use 16 by nine for YouTube. Then using the same footage, I can create short vertical videos in 9x16 for TikTok or Insta Reels. There are lots of AI editing tools on the Insta360 app. ShotLab allows you to add insane edits to your videos, such as using SkySwap to swap out the sky. Give it a try. Thanks so much for joining today. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about filming with the Insta360 X3 while out on your motorcycle. It's not too complicated and being able to point first and shoot later means that you can focus on the ride without having to worry about capturing it. And don't forget, if you use my affiliate link below, you will receive the motorcycle bundle kit for free with your Insta360 X3 purchase. That's it from me. I'm looking forward to see what you guys create.